Hi, I'm Reagan Wittick, and um, this is Chris Glassford, my nurse, and we are going to answer some questions for you today about contraception. Contraception is a way of preventing pregnancy, and definitely we need to remind people that it is not preventative for STDs. It is only there to help prov provide against getting pregnant. And the first question is, is, can you discuss the most common forms of contraception? Sure, Chris, I can. Um, and the most common forms of contraception come in many different delivery methods. Um, there is a pill that you take in your mouth orally. There is a ring that you can put in your vagina if you feel comfortable doing that. And there is a patch that you wear on your skin and those are a daily delivery system in order, and, and that means that it gives you a daily dose of hormones. And those three methods, the pill, the patch, and the ring, contain both estrogen and progesterone. There is also um, a implanon that goes in your arm right here, a rod, and it gives you a daily delivery system of solely progesterone. And there is also a intrauterine device that goes in your uterus that gives you a daily delivery system of progesterone called a Mirena. <clears throat> and um, there are some other non-hormonal ones that we'll talk about in a minute. So those are the, the most common ones that we get asked about daily is probably the pill, the patch, and the ring. Okay. What are some of the risks and benefits of each of those? Ooh, geez Louise. The risks of um, contraception is that it contains estrogen and estrogen seems to be a hormone that increases our risk of blood clots um, and as we age we also get an increase of risk of blood clots so if you combine the two as does smoking so if you combine age smoking and estrogen we get the risk goes up of, our blo of blood clots but having said that our body also produces our own estrogen so adding hormones in a younger age doesn't increase our risk significantly because we're not adding something that our body's not already giving us anyway. Are they all similar in their effectiveness? Yes and no. If you take the pill daily, the reason, if you take the pill as prescribed and you take away error, they are all effective similarly but then you add in the fact that you spent the night at your friend's house and you don't have your pill pack and you skipped a day, then that's gonna decrease its effectiveness. So if you're looking at one that you can't miss, so the ring is a little more effective than the daily pill because you can only mess up the ring once a month because you change it monthly. The patch is a little more effective than the daily pill because you change it weekly. The pill, you have to remember daily, so you have seven days to mess it up versus four times a month to mess it up. So you've got to take that into account. What are some other common questions that you've been asked? You need to remember that, so you have the pill patch ring, which are estrogen and progesterone related. You have intrauterine devices, and there are hormonal and non-hormonal types. You have the Depo-Provera shot, and you have an implanon rod, and those all go in and those all, and the implanon rod goes in your arm, and those all will stop you from getting pregnant. What you need to think to yourself is what is your goal? Is your, is your main goal not to get pregnant? Then any of those will work. Is your main goal to help your periods? Then you need to have a discussion on which ones will help your periods better. Is your main goal um, you're suffering from premenstrual syndrome? then that's a completely different conversation. So you need to have a conversation with your physician on your goals because oral contraception pills have very many um, benefits, not just preventing pregnancy, and they can help you in several different aspects. And so you need to go in there with um, a mindset of what, how it can help you the best and talk with your doctor on your best options because some of them you're going to ovulate on and some of them you're not going to ovulate on. And if you had significant PMS or you get ovarian cysts, then you need to be on a different one. And you need to know what's best for you and you need to know which one works which way.